In this National Student Support Accelerator video, we'll walk you through an example tutoring session structure that your program can work off of to develop the session plan that will work the best for you. While every program may structure its tutoring sessions differently, certain components of any structure can be helpful to keep in mind. Throughout this webinar, we will discuss the importance of maintaining a consistent session structure within your tutoring program. We will then walk through an example structure's components, including a session opening, data touchpoint, framing an objective, mini lesson and model, independent practice, and assessment at the end. When considering how you will structure your program's tutoring sessions, it is important to have consistency so as to allow students to know what to expect. If they can anticipate what they will be doing in sessions, they can better understand what is expected of them and can feel safer and more engaged in sessions. Session structure consistency can also minimize the amount of prep time that tutors need to put in, instead allowing them to focus on the content itself. Now considering an example session structure, let's start with how you could open your session. Starting with relationship building, like checking in with students about their day or week, discussing students' interests and extracurriculars, or doing an icebreaker activity, can allow you to form a strong bond with your students at the outset. Students who feel more connected to and comfortable with their tutors are more likely to be engaged in the work they do and will likely have better session behavior. Continuing through the lesson, it can be helpful to have a data touch point early on in the session. This can come in the form of something like an entrance ticket to assess students' mastery of either a skill they learned previously or a new skill that will be important for your work today. You can also use this time to review or complete any unfinished learning that will be important to the student's work in this session. Next, introduce the session's topic or focus. You can choose to give the students a preview of the work that they will be doing in the session and can also use questions to connect previous learning to what will be covered in the current session. Make sure to also state the day's learning objective and keep it written in a visible place for students to refer to. Once you've introduced the session's topic, you can get more into the actual learning process. Model the distinct step-by-step -step process that students will use to meet their identified learning goal in the form of doing things like listing out the steps to applying a formula, articulate a thinking process through a series of questions, or demonstrate how to write or analyze a type of text. You can also use the following questions to evaluate the effectiveness of your model. Was your model clear and concise? Was your model aligned with student practice and your assessment for later? Did you clearly explain your thinking? Did you emphasize the most important steps appropriately? Finally, if your program allows you to work in small groups, students can benefit from collaborating on a second model. Later in or throughout the session, allow your students some time to practice skills and concepts independently. Giving students multiple chances to practice applying knowledge on their own can be very beneficial to their overall understanding of the topics. And it's important that when helping students during independent practice, you guide students through the process rather than simply providing the answer outright. Lastly, use some sort of assessment like an exit ticket to gauge your students' progress towards mastering the content discussed. Keep in mind that any end of session assessment should be short and should only ask about what students have already practiced during the session. Thank you for watching this National Student Support Accelerator video on session structure. Be sure to check out the Accelerator website at the link below to find the complete collection of Accelerator tutoring tools, including those utilized in this video. Thank you.